This is the Marvel Legends series, The Mighty Thor, Nine Realms Warriors, Ares, or Marvel's Ares. The figure is part of the Thor, Marvel Legends Thor, Ragnarok, Hulk, Build-A-Figure wave. And I picked up the entire wave at Kramer Toy Ward, and each figure has, a, has pieces to build this gladiator-looking Hulk for the new Thor Ragnarok movie. The other figure in the Nine Realms Warriors type of packaging is the Odinson. So, very, very nice figure. If you think this is so familiar, that's because he's already up here. He's already been released by Marvel several years back as a build-a-figure wave and here's my ghetto style of showing you guys what it is uh it is it used to be a like a marvel Legends set and you you built aries using parts from these figures right here i actually don't have any of these figures anymore except for uh crossbones and kang my good buddy wally has the vision and Human Torch, I think, two of the best figures in the wave, including Crossbones. Uh, but if you've already had this wave in the past, you, you, you'd you get this Build-A-Figure uh, figure. And it is exactly the same thing. And speaking of that figure, here it is. So it was great back then. It's even better now. Um, Hasbro knows how to recycle their stuff. And... And it comes back, it gets recycled with a vengeance. And it looks so awesome. Um, so it's basically the same figure. We're just going to do a bit of a comparison in terms of paint apps and details and whatnot. Before we do that, here are the two pieces. Uh, or the, the pieces of the BAF Hulk that came with this figure. And this figure is absolutely massive. It's got so much plastic, just like the Odinson. Um, just incredible amount of plastic on on this on this figure set. So we'll, we'll build the Gladiator Hulk, that Ragnarok Hulk, uh, later on once we reviewed every figure in the wave. So uh, let me see if we can can show you. So he, he comes accessories wise, he comes with the same thing except with more. He's got the same helmet, just painted differently. And I love how they've done it this is a more like weathered look more trojan something like that this one is more it looks so comic action figure type of of helmet i do like this one more than this one um some people like the weathered look okay that's fine but i like this one i like that they used gold pvc plastic i painted it with nice glossy black finish very very nice the sword that he comes with looks the same just painted differently as you can see so we can all see clearly. It's still made of that soft uh, uh, PVC material uh, that they used before. So nothing's changed. Uh, the same mold. Hasbro just milked this mold. But this one, better paint apps as always. Uh, a little bit of a tarnish right there. Uh, fingerprint. But not too bad. Okay. Now he comes with a... Well, let's talk about the blade first. The Rambo knife. Oh, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, looks the same. Again, just painted differently. More details on the newer version. Okay. Now he comes with this He-Man battle axe. This is something new. Um, I'm not sure if it's already been released in previous waves, like um, for the draft set or anything. I, I, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before, but it looks new. To, it's new to me. Definitely, I've never had this one before. Uh, and look at the detail on it love the weathering pattern on it uh, it's made of this black soft softer pvc material uh, so it's fine for safety reasons i suppose okay now on to the figure itself the figure is exactly the same mold just different paint apps so articulation is going to be the same not going to talk about articulation uh, let's talk about the paint apps Head sculpt, look at that. He's got that godlike glow on his eyes. And like, this one is just like, dude, what's up? Okay. Uh, his chest plate is more accurate to the comic books, I think. Uh, it's black, bigger cross skull. Look at this. This looks like so cartoony. <laughs> I don't know what Hasbro was thinking with this one. But back then, back in the day, it looked awesome. Now with this one, it looks great. Uh, the mid-torso uh, belt and the... Uh, what is this harness armor 
uh, is the same. Just this one's more beige. This one's more reddish brown. His arms, basically the same. Same bracelet. But there's less of that uh, arm hair on him. Uh, on the other side, just magnificently painted with this one. This one, more weathering and leather-like. This one is just really looking like a comic book action figure uh, type of paint apps. The pants, this one's more black, obviously. Uh, I love the weathering on the boots, on this one more than this one. Like, this one looks, it makes it look more like a, like a knight in shining armor type of armor. Uh, this one, yeah, this one's a little too weathered for me. Uh, the holster, there's some weathering on it for the blade. This one has none. Basically, that's it. Uh, just an awesome repaint for those of you who've missed out on the BAF, the Build-A-Figure Ares back in the day and which now costs so much uh, online. Here is your chance to pick up that great figure. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't want to read into anything why Hasbro has suddenly re-released this particular figure. Is he going to be in the movie? I don't know, but I'm just glad they did. It's an awesome figure. It's obviously going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. I love the old figure back in the day. I'm loving this new one now. This one is going to be... I'm going to pass this on to another buddy of mine uh, who's looking for one. And um, yeah, he's going to be so happy about it. Because this one, if you don't get the set, it's going for like $40, $45, $50 online. And if you get the set, if you get it at Kramer, you get a retail price. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series, the Mighty Thor from Thor Ragnarok wave of, of build, Hulk Build-A-Figure figures, Nine Realms Warriors, Ares. Thanks for watching.